there and tried boyfriends and girlfriends and drugs and alcohol and left the church because you thought you were missing something. You sold out the spiritual thing for the worldly thing or the natural thing. You see, the food that Esau ate was natural. It was temporarily, as soon as it digests and passes from the body, you have no more recollection of what happened to it. But then now, here is Jacob standing ready to receive the birthrights of Esau. Then the Bible said that when uh, Isaac was in old age and he was about to leave, he got ready to bless uh, his oldest son with his blessings and who he was going to give unto him to go along with the birthrights. Because it was customary for the father before he passed on, not only would they leave the birthright, but he would always leave a special blessing over the oldest child. Well, to make a long story short, even that didn't work out for Esau. It all ended up coming to Jacob because his mama, Rebecca, helped him to get the blessing from his father. You see, you have to understand, thank you, brothers. You see, you have to understand that there's something about the spiritual things that you can never replace. There's no way you can ever replace the things of God. And anytime you have had any kind of a relationship with God or any touch from God is a lasting touch that you have. Those of us that have been saved, and even if you hadn't been saved, if you came up in the church, it's something about the church that put a mark on you. It stains you. It does something special for you. That even when you get old and you decide to leave the church, you still have that same stain on you. And I've seen people leave the church and try to fit in with the world. But it just can't happen because it's something about when God has been a part of your life life it leaves a lasting stain on you you see in this story you find that Jacob was the one that most people would have put down on in the secular world you see Jacob was the one that stayed around mamas and most of the guys in the neighborhood made fun of Jacob because he was not the imposing type of young man he didn't have the muscles like Esau had he wasn't the ladies man like Esau was he was the one that other women the young girls didn't look at much because he was the one that they would call a weakling he hung around the house he knew how to cook and he knew how to clean while Esau was the athletic type you know how it is most of you all used to go crazy over the football players and the basketball players they used to get all the girls in the schools and then the smart boys that got their homeworks out you call them nerds huh? because everybody knows that in the world they don't want the good guys they say the good guys finish last huh? but how many know God knows how to turn this thing around huh? uh, it's time out for all the good folks finishing last huh? God said I'm about to turn this thing around huh? I remember the time when I was in school huh? you can find the nicest girl wanted the thugs. You see Esau in our terminology today was a thug. But in the eyes of young stupid teenage girls he was a ladies man. It seemed like women just love thugs over good guys. But God is trying to tell you I'm about to turn this thing around. If you ever wanted to be married to the right kind of person you need to find someone that's spiritual and in the church uh, while all the women was running behind Esau uh, there wasn't many running behind Jacob uh, because they didn't understand uh, Jacob had something that you cannot pay for uh, he was spiritual minded uh, he knew and had a relationship with God uh, even at a young age it was something different about Jacob uh, come on back up here for a minute Jacob uh, you can look at Jacob he don't dress like all the other young brothers his age. He got a nice tie on and a nice suit. But many times the young girls in school, they want the boys with the sagging pants, with their hat turned to the side. They want the ones that are trying to be a pimp daddy. And they're overlooking the Jacobs of the world. And then they go and get a thug. 
not knowing that the thug is the one that's gonna beat you upside the head. They'll be the one that's cheating on you. They'll be the one that would take all your money while you go out and work and they sit at home. They'll be those kind of thugs. But then the hardworking Jacob type, they just always seem to be in last place. Everybody overlooking the Jacobs of the world. Women don't want to marry the Jacobs of the world, not the not the uh, the thug women, because they think that it's something about a bad boy. But I come to tell you today, God is rearranging things now. He said the last shall be first, and God is turning things around. I know many of you may not have your college degree, but God said I'm about to turn things around. You're about to come from last to first. You're about to come to the forefront. God said I'm looking for some Jacobs and some Jacobettes because I'm tired of seeing you behind. He said you don't understand your purpose and your destiny. I know you might have seen a little slow in school, but God said it does not matter to me because I made you the way you are. And there's something about the Jacob in you that I want to use today. Everybody that don't have a college degree, I want you to come here right now because God is saying right now, I'm about to change some things around. I want you to come to the forefront. I want you to be the first and not the last. But you got to understand that you are better than what you thought you were. That you are something special. God said you got to change your mentality. You got to understand that you're great in the Lord. You got to know that you are special. Some of you may not have your high school diploma, but God said you're special. He said I'm about to do some things. I'm about to turn, turn some things around. I know you've been in last place, but guess what? God said I'm about to put you in first place. I need you to step out. Come on, step forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Keep walking. Go forward. Because you're stepping out of last place uh, into first place. Uh, God said, I'm turning around. Uh, say yes. Uh, say yes. Uh, I give God some praise. Uh, I just have to reload here. Uh, you got to understand uh, there's nothing and nobody uh, that can keep you down. Uh, because when God is for you, uh, he's more than everyone against you. God said, I got something special for you. You are Jacob and Jacob X. He said, I'm bringing you out of last place. I know folks said you wouldn't be nothing. I know you made some mistakes. I know you got some things you're embarrassed about. But God said, forget about it. I don't care about it. It's in the past. He said, come out of your past. But you're first. God said, I'm turning it around. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what it's been. I don't care how it was. God said, no more. I'm bringing you out. I'm bringing you up. I'm setting you up. Say yes. Yes. that are saved, but there's some of you here today 